You must have heard of Killer Frost, the deadly villain turned hero who won the hearts of the residents of Central City as a member of Team Flash. Her alter ego, Dr. Caitlin Snow, is a genius scientist, which is very convenient since today we are going to look at the science behind Killer Frost and how physics allowed her to both help and hurt people. To understand this, you first need to understand exactly how kinetic energy helps things stay in their states of matter. Matter is made up of countless microscopic particles, all of which move at least a little, depending on the state of matter. Solid particles only vibrate, liquid ones slide over each other, and gas particles go all over the place. Like most other things, their movement means that they possess a lot of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy that all moving things have, whether they are particles or people like you and me. Even while walking, you have a certain kinetic energy. You must know that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It is only converted from one type of energy to another. When you heat some water to make steam, the heat energy of the flame is converted into kinetic energy in the particles of water. This makes them go faster, which in turn turns them into a gas. Killer Frost does the opposite. When she uses her power on an object, she takes away the kinetic energy from that object. This changes things. Since the presence of kinetic energy means things are warm, we can assume that the lack of it means that things are cold. And we would be assuming right. When something has less kinetic energy, it means it's colder. So Killer Frost doesn't make things go directly cold, but instead she takes away their kinetic energy, which makes them cold. You have been watching another episode of Super Science. This is the show where I show you how superheroes use physics and you absorb this information and become a physics master yourself. Don't forget to like, subscribe, read comics and watch movies. Super Science out.